do we not communicate? <laughs> What does that mean for you in terms of your relationship with your team and most importantly for making sure that your strategy is enacted? But you better understand how you're communicating and all the ramifications of that communication. The first day we're going to concentrate on how to present without PowerPoint. Impossible. <laughs> PowerPoint is in competition with the speaker. What is your added value in presenting? They can read a PowerPoint. So what's the value that you bring? Examples. Exa you can put examples on PowerPoint. Uh, you bring like emotions. Ah! Emotion. You can certainly do that through movement, through your presence, through your voice, through your energy, through everything. You can say which are the most important points in this as well. Today, what's really important for me is to make sure that I get across to you the message that um, movement's really vital in how we get our um, communication. This experience has been of great value because we need to uh, be able to uh, relate with an audience and to be comfortable while uh, speaking in front of a lot of persons. This is the, the voice workshop. What I'd like to achieve today is to get you to start listening to the way we use our voices, what we like about it, what we don't like about it. Listen to other people and learn about how we use our own voices. All of us, we were in a group of eight. We had to present a story and then we got some uh, feedback on what we presented, on the voice, on our body language. Uh, it was very interesting to listen to the stories of everybody, but also to get some feedback. And it was quite uh, lively and uh, also fun. That energy is hugely important, the energy you transmit. And when we're talking about energy, I'm talking about the passion, the fire in your belly, that belief that you can actually transmit your message. Even if you are not an expert, at least this kind of workshops helps the manager to, to, to really improve the communication skills. So here we are in the presence workshop. Can I just ask, what, what is presence? Being there. Being actually physically present helps, doesn't it? Each module that you take or each workshop, you see something else about, you know, about yourself. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly. My message today is very simply that in every conversation there are two agendas. There is a rational agenda and an emotional agenda. The emotional agenda is stronger than the rational agenda. Do you accept that as a thesis? When you manage a team, and a team of talent, it's not about content, the content of what you know. It's a different skill, it's about setting context. Context is about helping other people to perform.
a lot of today is going to be about thinking beyond words. Thinking beyond words. The model I'm going to give you is words, behind that are emotions, and behind that is intention. And then afterwards, in the role plays, I'm going to give you a toolkit to explore that as well. Difficult stuff. It's very personal. I mean, this module is about personal. It's about my agility and my agility with people. It's to do with trust. It's to do with team spirit. It's to do with, you know, some of the best and best things we were talking there, focusing on people. It's about evolving a new skill set that you, you've done. It's really hard, but it's really interesting because um, uh, it's you know like a mirror, and you when you see your peers uh, interact, uh, you can see something and remember when you miss something with uh, real people. So it's really great. It's a great exercise. So uh, oh, good time, but uh, up time too. So uh, great. Yeah.